I'm Tom Elmore with Thatchmore Farm and I'm going to demonstrate um, grafting uh, greenhouse tomatoes. So this is my uh, grafting rig. Uh, in this container I put some rubbing alcohol and then this is my surgical instrument which is half of a safety razor blade that you can get at your local uh, drugstore. I dunk the blade in the, uh, the alcohol, let it dry off, and I've also alcoholed these two yo yogurt containers. And that avoids me having to lay my surgical instrument uh, down on the table and, and get germs on it. Over here are my grafting clips. Uh, this is the largest size we have. This is a medium size. And these clear plastic ones are the, uh, uh, the smallest size. So you, you can see that you press on the clip and they open up and the purpose of these devices is just to hold the uh, tomatoes together after you uh, have uh, done the graft. So um, first thing we do is just imagine this is a uh, rootstock uh, growing uh, in a soil block and so uh, the first thing I do is uh, reduce the foliage on the rootstock a little bit and that doesn't really affect the grafting at all, but uh, uh, when I uh, reroot the uh, rootstock, uh, it uh, it avoids uh, them crowding each other. So then I do a 45 degree cut like this, and then uh, stick the uh, the rootstock top into a little bit of soil. And in 10 days or so, that will be rooted, and you can graft again if uh, if this particular graft doesn't happen to work out. So now I look for uh, a scion, which is the good tasting tomato, that's about the same diameter. I remove extra leaves to um, help prevent uh, wilting uh, after I've grafted the plant. Then I uh, look for, try to eyeball it and get the diameter of the two, uh, two plants about the same. It looks like right about there will work out. So a 45 degree cut and I'll lay them out on my surgical instrument. And next I have to, it looks like these uh, uh, largest uh, grafting clips are the one that's going to work out. So I eyeball it and make sure that the diameter is identical. And then use the clip and slide the scion, which is the top part, the good tasting tomato. Make sure they're firmly in contact and uh, that's all the surgery. After surgery, uh, so don't forget this is uh, simulating a soil block, so there is soil on the bottom of the uh, rootstock. It goes into our recovery chamber. So this is just a storage container from your local uh, hardware or uh, big box store. And so I use a mister to mist all the inside here to keep the humidity high. And so this cover will go on top. So it becomes high humidity situation in there. And then uh, we put uh, uh, something to block the light from above or have it in a low light part of the room. And uh, as uh, time goes on, we gradually, uh, a few days later, we'll start to uh, uh, vent this uh, high humidity container. Uh, we usually mist it two or three times a day to make sure the uh, humidity stay high, stays high early on. Uh, and then after a week, uh, we can vent it uh, a little more. Gradually, we'll take the top off and the plant will start growing and the grafting uh, process is complete.